I shot some video of this uh, simple drill press clamp during my series and forgot to include it so I'm just going to do a quick run through on it. Clamping is very important uh, in many cases, the drill press is a good example. I made two of these, sometimes one is enough and I used one on the uh, roller block project so you will have seen it in use if you've seen that video. There aren't many pieces to this and it's fairly simple, a little bit of ex uh, awkward machining here and there but otherwise fairly straightforward. This incidentally is for my drill press which has a table with slots and holes uh, it's obviously no good for a, uh, a table that has uh, T-slots. So all we have is there's a piece of plate here which is quarter inch thick, it's about three inches long, inch and a half wide, just over. Two pieces of threaded rod studding and then we've got this T-piece which is deep drilled, tapped through and through and there's a bearing washer. This is for the underneath of the table and then for the top we've got a pretty substantial jaw it's uh, 3 8 by yeah it is 3 8 by inch and the overall length of that is nearly 5 inch. Uh, slotted at the front which allows plenty of space for travel and the rear I think later on I've got a close-up of it the rear slot has a chamfer relief as well as being a slight slot it has a chamfer relief so that this can drop down on the stud so it goes on the rear one or well, before that we've got this little thing it's turned knurled radius at the top and the radius allows for the uh, change of angle of the jaw. Drop that down there. We'll put the jaw on. Let's turn that over. Oops. So what we're trying to show here is that this little shoulder button is the support for the rear. Then we have another washer and this T-piece, which again I've got a close-up later if I remember. Um, this is radiused also, so that when it bears on the washer, it can cope with a change of angle. You can probably see here that if that is pivoting and we want to apply central pressure, this needs a slight radius chamfer on it. And that's, re that's really all there is to it. Um, not that complicated but it's very strong these lengths of studding will go well out this way which would then permit if you've got some ridiculously large piece of work so that already is going up larger and we can extend these to go even bigger the uh, relief on the front of each of the bottom plate and the top jaw I think partly it's for aesthetic reasons not much else and the angle if we're gripping a piece we would generally have the top jaw slightly high at the rear so the main pressure comes on the on the front otherwise that's about all there is to it I've got a, another shot showing it in position on the drill press or the other set. Let's just see if I can come in any closer. There we are, just a closer look. When this is loose I can move the length of the slot and then tighten that up. So there we can set up to suit drop that down a bit imagining we've got a piece well we can put this piece of bar in and we'd bring that uh, rear up a little bit tighten down and there you have it
I nearly forgot just a short extra to tack on the end of this one. I did make a pair of smaller jaws and I think I may have made these before the large ones. Uh, these won't take quite as much pressure of course but there were occasions when these were adequate. The rear slot is also chamfered here and here on the rear for the rear stud that's to allow tipping and the front slot of course is uh, clearance of when it uh, drops. The scallop relief on this one, do you know, I forget why I did that, there's probably a very good reason and the uh, top again just finished with an angle and one other little bit I'll show you I forgot earlier, the uh, tightening T-piece, you'll probably see that it's got a sh almost a chamfer radius on it. That's because if the bar is tipped down or at an angle, uh, this bears on a washer and uh, that relief there allows for a central pressure, okay? Well that's it, it was just a final finish off. In fact these jaws have been used uh, for other purposes too. Either the small or the large to be honest, they can be used on my old rotary table which I discussed I think in number five gadgets and gizmos, I forget the number now. Five or four. Okay, all for now.